The Witching Waves was invented in 1907 by Theophilus Van Cannell, who is most well known for being the inventor of the revolving door. The ride consisted of a large oval track made of sheets of iron. Under these iron sheets were levers attached to a set of gears that itself were attached to a central drive shaft that was powered by an electric motor, steam engine, or combustion engine, depending on what was most convenient for the park. The design produced a sort of wave that would travel along the sheet iron. The waves were set to be larger on certain parts of the track where the owners wanted the ride vehicles to travel faster. These waves would be the primary method of propulsion for the rider vehicles. The rider vehicles themselves were small, two-person cars with a simple steering wheel and no restraints. The cars had to be pushed out of the loading area by the operator. Later versions of the witching waves, such as the one formerly located at Euclid Beach in Cleveland, Ohio, were made with small electric motors and a battery built into the car to reduce the amount of work operators had to do. In the original version of the ride, operators had to be stationed around the track to ensure that the vehicles did not become stuck. The idea of the ride was to quote unquote catch a wave by shifting your weight and turning the car so that you could move as fast as possible around the track while also bumping into others. Due to the ride's design, this ride was only available as a permanent model. The Witching Waves is now seen as the first bumper car type ride, made at a time when other methods of propelling the car were not easily available. The widespread availability of powerful electric motors and the invention of the electrified grid ceiling made the witching waves obsolete and caused the modern dodgem slash bumper cars we see today to become mainstream. All models of the witching wave were removed by 1940. Due to this, footage is extremely hard to find, which is why you're seeing video clips repeating. Several witching waves rides were installed between 1907 and the mid-1920s. The first was installed at Luna Park Coney Island. After it was installed, a company named Witching Waves Company was formed to install these rides at parks around the world. The company is only known to have made the Witching Waves. Witching Waves could once be found at parks all over the western world, with some examples being located at Blackpool in England, Euclid Beach Park in Cleveland, Ohio, Paragon Park in Massachusetts, and Parasailies Park in New Jersey, but many more were made over the years. Due to the metal fatigue caused by the constant bending of the iron plates and the complex system placed under these plates, these rides were seen as mechanical nightmares. In some of the newer photos of these rides, you can see lots of scrapes and gashes in the iron plate floor. These rides were also known for producing some serious accidents and injuries. Accordingly, many were removed shortly after their novelty wore off. The Witching Waves at Euclid Beach Park, for example, opened in 1924 and closed just under 10 years later in 1933. After this ride closed, the building it was housed in along with its rider cars were reused to make a dark ride. And finally, for one of the most interesting facts we've probably ever shared on Flat Ride of the Week, Franz Paulbaum was the f chief mechanic for the Witching Waves company. In late 1911, he sailed to France to install a Witching Waves ride at a park in Paris. Upon completion of the installation, the owners of the Paris park were so happy with his work that they offered to upgrade his trip back to the US by paying for a cabin for him on the Titanic. He was originally planning to return to the US on the ship SS La Province. He accepted their offer and was unfortunately killed in the disaster. Now on that somewhat sad note, that is about all of the information we have on the Witching Waves. That is about all that there is at least on the internet these days. If you have any personal experiences with the ride or know someone who does, go ahead and share that in the comments below. I would be happy to find out more. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week. Goodbye.